Lazy, entitled, stupid, selfish, dumb, crazy, lost, ignorant, spoiled, bad, sensitive, snowflake, annoying, and on and on and on. That's how millennial and Gen Zers say they're routinely described. when more than a hundred intellectuals make a bid to defend free speech in the face of cancel culture. They get canceled, of course, proving the existence of exactly the sentiments about which they were complaining. My name is Christine Carco. I'm 75 years old and I'm a baby boomer. My name is Janine Dupuy. I'm 48 years old and I'm from Generation X. My name is Danica Prendergast. I'm 16 and I'm part of Gen Z. I was born and brought up in Somerville, Massachusetts. I grew up in Peabody, Massachusetts. I grew up in Raleigh, Massachusetts. I liked work having a job when I was a teenager. I was in high school. I worked in a department store in Boston. I had a part-time job while I was in high school and the same job that I would go to when I came home from college on breaks. I personally really enjoy my job, but I know that a lot of kids my age don't, and I do sometimes, often. Get bored at work. A new resume builder survey of 1,300 plus managers and business leaders revealed 74% found that those people who are 26 and younger tend to be the most challenging to work with. Religion was very important for me and my family. Both my parents were very strict Catholics, especially my mother. We would go to church every Sunday and we all made our sacraments. I was raised Catholic. We went to Sunday Mass every week, of course every holiday. Uh, I went to CCD when I was really young and I made all um, my sacraments up through marriage. In the recent few years my older brother and my mom have been going to church every Sunday while me, my younger brother and my dad just stay home. More and more young people are leaving organized religion each year. But for a lot of Gen Z folks there's one huge topic that's pushed them away from the church. It stands on the LGBTQ plus community. So what's going on here and where are they turning to for guidance instead? My Catholic upbringing strengthened my belief, belief in God, who I credit for getting me through many difficult situations in my life. I pretty much thought it was unimportant um, and I had no choice. I had to go to CCD, I had to go to Mass, but then I saw how though important religion was to my whole family. It gives people something to have faith for and also something to look forward to in the afterlife, however that may be. Honestly, growing up politics wasn't in my life at all. Politics was not a part of my everyday life. Politics has definitely become a big part of my daily life because it's all over the media, all over the news, and definitely a big topic at the dinner table. My highest level of education was high school. Um, I have four siblings, and at that time, my parents just didn't have the means. I got a job at the telephone company where I started off as a records clerk and worked my way up to a supervisor. I have my bachelor's degree. Currently, I'm a sophomore in high school, but I plan to go to college and stay there as long as it takes. I think it did get me to where I needed to go. I made some lifelong friendships. I met my future husband there and monetarily I did very well. In hindsight the only thing I would have changed different is I might have uh, changed my major. I think that getting a college education and going as far as I need to in college will definitely set me up on the right track for life and get me where I want to go. A very significant thing that happened when I was young, I was in high school, I was in class, and there was an announcement over the loudspeaker that our president, John F. Kennedy, had been assassinated. The Challenger exploding with the teacher, Krista McAuliffe, on board. The COVID-19 pandemic, as well as the whole Trump versus Biden scandals. That event, actually, at that time, being so young, it took away a lot of my innocence. It made me fearful and hopeful. It taught me how people adapt and overcome from stressful and traumatic situations. The Trump versus Biden scandals have taught me that the world of politics is often very messy. I wish I was more aware of politics. I wish my generation was more aware of the dangers of drinking and driving. A decade ago, we all rallied here to successfully lower the drunk driving limit to 0.08 BAC, saving thousands of lives. Older generations shouldn't look down upon us and think of us as stereotypical teenagers because a lot of us are just living the same life as they are. I would not change my values. 
to get with the times. I feel I have caught up somewhat. As long as I'm not, my views and beliefs aren't harmful or hurtful to somebody else, then of course they're valid. They're my personal beliefs. Cancel culture is usually when younger generations look down upon the older generations because of their beliefs or what they've done in the past that might have been acceptable back then. In today's culture, just a simple social media post from years ago can prevent you from getting a job. And we also talk about cancel culture being the culture of fear. I do not think it is fair. I do not believe in cancel culture. I don't think someone should be canceled because of something that they said or did. To try to just cancel somebody because they did things differently or saw things differently in a, what was actually a different world back then, worldviews, is ridiculous. It's kind of just hating on older generations for stuff that used to be normalized, but I do definitely think that we need to make sure that the older generations are getting with the norm and not saying outlandish things that are not acceptable in these days.